Hi everyone, this is your girl, Ms. Henny, and I'm here to present you all my thoughts on All Stars Season 4. So I'm going to be rating these looks with my own special system that I like to call the Three Shots of Henny. So the way it goes is if I think the look is just alright, it's not bad, but it's not great either, I give it one shot out of three. And if I think the look is great, it's polished, um, there's a lot of elements there, but doesn't exactly blow me away, I give it two shots out of three. And if I think the look is an absolute shoot, it's amazing, it has me gagged, then I give the look three shots out of three. And there's other variations to it as well, but you'll see as I go on. So without further ado, let's get on to the looks. I'll be going from left to right. So first up, we have Miss Trinity Taylor. I love Trinity's look so much. I feel like it cuts this classic silhouette, but there's a little bit of a take on it. It's kind of, you know, like frilly, cocktail dressy, but it's also very chic. It's very sophisticated. Um, I love how the colors, the light bounces off um, the ruffles and there's like all of these colors. I don't know how much of that is the editing with all the sparkles and the light and how much of that is her, but she just looks absolutely amazing. I think that this is, it's not like what I've seen her wear before and that's why it's really exciting. Um, I think her legs look amazing. She looks super duper fishy. The hair is on point, the makeup's on point. I just think that this is a really bold move on her part. There's like a little bit of a risk. It could come off as like too frilly, but she absolutely nailed it and she knew what she was doing. So for me, this is three out of three shots. Well done. Next we have Monique Hart. I love Monique. She was definitely one of my favorites. I would say in my personal top three for season 10. Um, as for this look, I can't say that I'm really a fan of it. She often does this motif with like the face and this one I feel like doesn't tell a story as much as some of her other looks. I don't think that this look is as strong as some of her looks in season 10. There's something that's a little bit off balance by it. Like you see some fr frills here and then you see some frills that's kind of like a skirt but I kind of wish it was longer. There's also that pant that's only on one leg but I feel like that throws it off balance. I'm not a fan of the shoe and I feel like the hair doesn't really match with everything else she's wearing. The face again is just it's very cartoony but it's not as fun as some of the other faces I've seen her look. So I feel like this is a rehash on some of the themes that she's done but for me this is an upgrade from the season 10 and that's kind of what I was hoping to see. So for me this look is a pass. I'm gonna give it one shot out of three. Next we have Miss Gia Gunn. Um, I'm super excited to have Gia um, back on this show. There was a huge controversy before that I believe was really well deserved where Rue got a lot of backlash for what he said about trans women. I think it's so important to have the representation of a trans woman and not to create this rift between cis men and trans women that haven't started transitioning yet and with trans women because everyone should do drag. So I think it's really amazing to have Gia here. She looks amazing. Um, uh, I like it, but I would say it's not really a standout look for me. It um, is kind of similar to some of the other things I've seen her wear before. She looks good, but there's nothing about it that is really different or daring, I would say. Um, there's that sort of like one piece with the jacket and a very classic Gia hair. But again, there's just there's just nothing that stands out to me. And then for All Stars, I was just expecting more. So I would say that this look for me gets a shot, a shot and a sip. Next we have Miss Jush, Miss Jasmine Masters. I love this look so much. I have never seen Jasmine Masters look this good. I love the really big showgirl hair. I love the earrings. The dress is absolutely amazing. The appliques on the arms and the legs are a really nice touch. I just think she looks amazing, especially with that pose, with that big smile. Like it, She just looks like she's having so much fun, and it's very different than Jasmine that we saw originally on her season. This makes me really excited for her. Every single element's on point, like the makeup. Um, for me, this is an absolute shoot. This is three out of three shots. So congratulations, Miss Jasmine Masters. I'm really excited for you, and I'll be rooting for you during this season. Right smack dab in the middle, we have 
Naomi Smalls. Now, Naomi Smalls is a huge fan favorite. Um, I've also seen her at DragCon. I've seen some of the like looks that she's typically done. She con she often does this thing where she has like a very flat look that just really suits her well and accentuates her legs. This is a little bit different than some of the other things I've seen her wear. I think it's very girlish but very pretty. I like the color. I like her hair because the hair is also, I've never seen her with that sort of hair before. I like the expression that she has. It's very simple. I kind of wish, I was kind of wishing there was something more, but I feel like this look in itself is just very put together and very balanced. So I like it. I don't think it's absolutely phenomenal, but it it is a good look. So I would give it a, a solid two out of three shots. Next going on to Miss Latrice Royale. I love Latrice's look so much. I've never seen her look like this before and it's very different than the looks I've seen her do on her season in season 4 with you know a lot of the ballroom gowns and stuff. This is very modern but very old school at the same time. I'm getting like Beyonce lemonade, I'm getting that church going woman but the best looking one 2018. I love the color, I love the sparkles on the hat, I love the, the hair that she has, and the bright earrings, her makeup, that expression she has, it's just everything about this is just really beautiful and I love that dress on her. I just think that this is such a powerful look for her and this makes me really excited to see what else she has. So well done Miss Latrice Royale, this gets 3 out of 3 shots for me. Moving on we have Valentina. I've seen Valentina at DragCon and I swear she was wearing a dress that looked exactly like this minus the little appliques. Um, Valentina always looks good, I don't think she's ever looked bad before. So she looks good here, um, everything about it's on point, but for me it's not exciting and it's not very different than anything I've seen before. I remember Valentina for her amazing, like her mariachi look and um, the look with the mask and it's just like the, the wedding look and it just makes you go whoa like you you kind of like sit back for a moment and you're shocked and then she does these very like delicate pretty looks but this to me isn't like it's it's good but it's not amazing i was looking for something more um so i, I feel like it's very familiar to me and i don't know if that's just because i follow her on instagram but for me it's like she's never looked bad um but i also wouldn't say i'm amazed by it so I'm kind of stuck between like one shot or two because if it was anyone else it would be two shots but it is Valentina and I expected something more so I'm gonna say maybe like one shot and a half. Next we have Miss Monet Exchange. Wow I love this look on Monet. That body is on point. I love it. Um, there's something about this look that's very familiar but also brand new. I love the hair that looks fluffy like a pink brush, the makeup's on point, the color, I love this like cape that she has. She was definitely brave to like play with different colors and play with different shapes but now she's got the coin and the finesse to make it really look right. So all of the elements look really good. I just, I love the way that it sort of has like this choker on her neck and then goes down. It just really frames her body well. She looks powerful and strong. Um, this to me is really amazing. It gets a solid two out of three shots for me. I think this is great. Next, we have Manila. Manila is someone that I always think of when I think fashion. She always has something that surprises me. Um, I think that her looks in season three were absolutely amazing, and this one's no different. It's been a long time since um, season three, and I feel like she looks more, she looks like not older in a bad way, but more established. Something about the hair with like the little, the two things sticking out, it kind of reminds me of, you know, like that Asian lady that runs the hotel and she's like smoking a cigarette and she's like really badass and she'll cuss someone out. She's giving me that, but very like modern and finesse. Um, she's got this like drippy collar here that on someone else would look very arts and crafts, but she pulls it off well. The whole entire like look is just there's a movement going on to it, kind of like slides, glides down. Just so many aspects of this it is really beautiful. Love the color, I love the pose that she has, and this for me is a shoot. It's three out of three shots. So well done, Manila. Really excited to have you back. And last but not least, we have Vera. Um, I'm not a fan of this look. 
for different reasons. I think Farrah is definitely someone that like she can show a little bit of body and get away with it. But for this one, it's something for me is a little bit off balance here. I think that she would have done better with um, like you know sometimes less is not more. I think that kind of like the awkward angle that she has going on here with the tassel going right between her legs. It's something that I think if we got a different angle of it, it might look look better. And um, something about it just doesn't make her seem feminine in the way that Valentina looks. I So I'm, I'm not really a fan of the choice of the outfit. I think if she did something with more of like a silhouette with like what Monet did or what Manila did, it would look a lot better. Like the look, the hair, everything from like the neck up is just very much like Farrah that we've seen. I'm interested in kind of like what new she has to bring to the table because it reminds me a lot of like some of her Las Vegas looks. So I'm not really a, a fan of it. Um, I think that there's ways to make her body look good aside from just the sort of um, outfit she has. So I'm interested in seeing what else she has and this just gets one shot for me. So those are all my looks and my readings. Let me know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, I'd really love to have your thoughts and would like you all to share what you would like to see from me next. Um, really excited for this season. I thought season 10 was going to come before this, but I'll take it. So really excited. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And um, click on that little bell so that you get notifications. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos, a lot more makeup videos, um, drag. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all soon.